this is a story all about how my life got flipped, turned upside down. And I'd like to take a minute and just sit right there. I'll tell you how I became the prince of a town called Bel Air. A town called Bel Air. So here are all the products and tools shown that are needed to achieve this hairstyle. And here's the hair and everything will be linked down below. So there's all the information. My hair is washed and conditioned and blow dried. I added it four sections. So this took me about eight hours altogether. I used three packs of hair and I'm just gonna show you my technique that I find the most comfortable for me. And one is to make sure your hair is really moisturized. That's why I use that coconut oil to grease my scalp. And then I'm going to take this styling aid and I'm going to put that all over my hair. And then I'm going to use this shine and jam and I'm going to put that on the base, the roots of my hair just to get it really moisturized and conditioned because this is supposed to act as a protective style. Now I'm going to take a strand of that coily hair and I'm going to split it in two and then I'm going to have it half it and then I'm going to braid it down. I split my hair into two as well and I'm just going to braid it down a couple of times and then after I braid it down I'm going to make sure my hair there's two strands and I'm going to make sure each strand is with the other the added hair so there's two strands of synthetic hair and then there's two strands of my hair and I'm going to make sure one is on each side and then I'm going to start twisting to my left if you're sitting there doing your hair you're twisting to your left but if you're looking at it I'm twisting to my right so but it's really as you're doing it yourself you're twisting to the left that is the most important part of this tutorial is to tell you to twist to your left, okay? If you want that sleek look, which I prefer, you're twisting to your left. Now here's another tip, you have to clip those ends. If you don't clip the ends, it will not look professional. It will look rough and raggedy, look at that. Now look at that, yes, professional. Now, I'm going to show you the process what I do before I even start braiding or twisting. I coat the hair with all my products to make it nice and moisturized because you want to retain length after you take these out. I'm splitting the hair. Now, I'm braiding it down. Here's the way I'm braiding it. I split my hair into two. And then I'm braiding a couple of times down. Now this is the wrong way to do this style that I'm showing you. If you start twisting to the right, I'll show you what it looks like. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm twisting to the right. Okay, here's me twisting to the right, and this is what it looks like when you twist to the right. I'm not saying it's not it's bad, but it's not my preference right now. Maybe another day I'll twist to the right, but I'm twisting to the left, y'all. So if you wanna you want this sleek look, twist to the left. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys everything I do. Make sure you clip those ends one by one. It's better to do that. I learned that after I did the first back section of my hair because you don't want to go back and clip the ends because you might miss one. So one by one is good. And then when you're done, finally, you don't have to go back and clip anything. So here's how I achieve this style. 
I hope you guys like it. Um, it's pretty simple. You just twist. You braid it down. That's another technique that I do because it ensures that it will stay, it won't slip. But since I put so much product on my hair, um, it probably won't last long. So don't you don't have to put that much product as I did, but I just want to make sure my hair stays healthy. I'm only doing these because I'm going to Vegas next weekend and I'll probably keep it in for three weeks. If you want to get a, a little bit more wear out of your hair, um, don't use as much product as me, but make sure your hair is moisturized because you want your hair to be healthy after you leave this and you don't want to have to cut it after. But um, I thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys learned something from me. And if you like this video, please thumbs up, comment, and please share, 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 share this video and make sure you subscribe guys. Um, I thank you guys for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I really love this hair and it was so pretty. I, I was just so excited that it came out like this. It's beautiful. It's bouncy and it's moisturized. I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in my next video as I said already. Bye bye. Hey baby hairs oh and guys i forgot to add another tip get um hairspray i'm going to use my got to be glue freeze it spray and i'm going to spray that close to the ends of my hair and i'm going to spray a good amount and what that will do is um help me elongate the twist if you want to make the twist longer and kind of stretch them out go ahead and do that and after you spray each strand get your blow dryer and go ahead and blow dry I mean go ahead and blow the hair dry I said it again go ahead and dry the hair and you will see that it it does stretch out the twist and it adds a length so that's another tip if you want to do that but I just did that to show you guys because I love my the length of it I don't want anything too long because it's too hot I live in California and it's still 85 degrees but Go ahead and do that, and I promise this time I'm saying bye. I'll see you in my next video. Peace. This might be alright.